Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of XCOM Long War. We're on episode 170. And it is here that we shall make our... No, it's fine. Okay, well... We, I guess, just simply scan for activity. Seven days for the report. Sure. The more the merrier. Even though we have absolutely no need of scientists right now, because we do not have the... We do not have the thing that we need... Eh. Eh, we'll give it a shot. Let's see if good old Big Bear can take him down. We have eyes on the bandits. I don't think so, but we'll see. Eyes on the bandits. Strike range. All right, a little bit of pew pew shitty shitty action. Oh, very well done, and a crash site. Only that's still considered the United Kingdom. Eh. Yeah, still considered the United Kingdom. All right, so. We have another shot down individual. Alright, let's see. Who are we going to bring? Fine, you can lead us. Um, I think I'm going to bring... I think I'm going to bring Lady Grey on this one. Um, not... You know what? I guess I'll be you. No. 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 Maybe. But not. Alright, so secondary gunner. Let's see who do we have. We should have Sneaky Sneakers Sneakerson ready to go. Indeed we do. And Gundy Chow looks like she is ready as well. As well. I believe you're already set. What 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 is that weapon that you're using? Oh, really? Why is it not glowy? Does it always look like that? I guess so. Wow. I never noticed, I thought you always saw the glow right there, and, well, I simply don't see it, but hey, you know what, that's fine. That is totally, completely and utterly fine. Okay, and as soon as I figure out where you actually ended up at, there you are, the Pathfinder. I'll send you in. I had the window open, guys, and there is a small breeze. I don't know if it's blowing on the mic. I closed the window about halfway. So it wouldn't like be full force blowing on us. So if there is still some background noise or some wind sounds. I apologize. I also moved the windscreen over a little bit to hopefully try to negate anything that may or may not come its way. All right, we need dun dun dun. We need a scout, an assault, and a medic. Assault, a scout, and a medic. Let's bring Pastel de Congo. It's been a while since we've used you. Or de... Congo de Muerto. There we go. That's what it was. My head didn't sound right at all. Not even in my warped little mind that didn't sound correct. Alright, um... I said a scout. Guy Furion. Good old Zulu himself. Or herself in this case. And an assault to hopefully not send to the grinder. Ah, uh, crane maker. Let's go for it, buddy. Alright, all that being done, let's load out our fools and get out there and hopefully, with no casualties, get through this. Hold on one sec, folks. Alright, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can probably load him out with one of those. And it would be a sweet, sweet nice. But we'll see, I could be totally wrong. Alright, so that is done. You look like you're already set. Let's make sure you have a third thing. You do. Very good. You are set already. You clearly are not, unless you plan to box with them. Do a little melee. Pop, 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 pop. Now we're going to get you some amazing new equipment to make you even more powerful than before. I don't know. It's, it's the same stuff you've always used. It's fine. Le -le. It's fine. Battle Unit 3, you look like you are ready to go. Yeah, yeah, well, so sure, let's do it. We'll send you out like that. You are eager and excited, and I don't know if you're hungry. You might be hungry. I think you're already rocking the Titan armor. You indeed are. Okay, which means... Eh, there we go. You get the final Aegis armor. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Egg... Eggtivity? Eggsivity? I don't know. Aegisness? Sure. Um... Arc Trower, and with the Arc Trower and everything else, we're looking pretty darn good. Congo de Muerta, 
We'll get you over here and grab you that. And we'll bring you on down to the Gauss raffle. And no fear for you. I said no fear for you. No. Alright, let's go and launch this bad boy and see what we can do. In the United Kingdom, we're proud we of you. We have visual on the mission site. Setting and down. we're going to have to hope... See, I don't know, is it closer? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to hope that this lowers some of the hatred of us in the UK. The we'll next see, deployment though. site is in the UK. Man, I feel like I always the get this map. went down hard and stopped just inside the city limits. Hopefully there it, weren't any civilians in the did. area at the time. It did, you're right. You're, you're absolutely right for once. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. Alright, I hate this map. This is Big Sky. Not really. This is the wasn't this the one where I had the uh, the gigantic sectopod that I couldn't see because of reasons. I think it was. All right. Knocky knocky de knock knock. I see a lot of nothing. I see a lot of nothing. Well, I don't think we can actually. Eh, whatever. We'll just we'll wait. All right. Who's our scout? Looks like a guy. Furion is our scout. Guy Furion doesn't actually have anything to do right now, so that's interesting, I guess. I'm sure. Loading a car in it, I guess. If you're into that sort of car loading thing, I guess that's uh, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it, huh? Let's do it. You have no head. You only have skull. You only have moose and, squir and squirrel. I, it's with a V, and I can't do it, guys. I don't know. I don't know why I cannot do it. On the move. On the move. Well. Uh huh. I do want some mayo on my pasta. Not really, but I suppose if I were to have mayo on the pasta, it would probably be pretty gross, actually. Moving to designated position. Well, I suppose it depends on the pasta, but I can't really think of a single time where that would be good. Or, or as the Canadian, uh, my fellow Canadian folk, or my Running. pseudo fellow Canadian, uh, pasta. And just like it's not Mazda, it's Mazda. I don't know, they don't like the, the pa, the ma. They don't like that. They, they prefer the pa and the ma. I don't know if it's a country bumpkin that. thing, the area I'm in, or what. It's just a little weird. It's the subtleties, guys. That's the small little things that are different that are so strange to me. It's like, why? Why? How is that different? But hey, it is. It's just like I say garage, and some people say garage. I, it's To me, that's odd, but, you know, it's what... It's, you know, it's the region. It's wherever you grew up. It's what what is spo the spoken language there, so... Oh, I suppose it's fine. Oh, I suppose it's okay. I mean, I'm not really stressing over it, so of course it's fine, but... Still, it Rolling. is a tad odd. Anyone up here? No? Well, this is strange. I feel as though that might not have been the play. Hmm. I'm super tempted. Super tempted. Roger that. Alright, we're going to get Boo 3 over here and hope that we don't see anything magical off in the distance or through the fence like we often do. That is kind of our go-to thing. See stuff that we shouldn't be able to see. Let's hope moving the one step further doesn't aggro guys on this side of the roof and then get us all killed. It didn't. Excellent. That is how I would prefer to play out every mission and not getting murdered. That is the play. That is Roger always, Dodger. always the play. Well, so far, we don't really see a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. Alright. Boldly, I'm going here. This is probably a horrible, 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 awful mistake. <sighs> nope, it's fine. East fine. Already there. Yeah, I know you guys are like, why are you doing stuff like that? That's way too aggressive. You're right, it absolutely is, but it's also way too fun not to do it. So, we are totally going to get it handled, and we're going to do it. Alright, and we are done. Let's see if the enemy decides to show themselves. I hear noises. There's something out there. There is something out there indeed, and I agree you with guys. your assessment that, yes, there is something out there. Knock knock, anyone home? No? Let's knock a little louder then. 
I said, is anyone home? Really? I feel as though we're being robbed here. Understood. Hmm. Moving out. All right, Mr. Boo Three, and or Madam Boo Three. Oh wait, we'll we'll put those guys. Ah, stop it! Ah, come on. There we go. Put those guys where I want them Got later. Later. All right. Ah, we see a meld canister off in the distance. It's the piece of distance. I know, it doesn't really make sense, but it's fine. It's totally fine, guys. Alright, so... Uh, like I told you guys, I put my feelers out to a bunch of different things, hoping to get something back so I have a little bit more to cover. A lot of it will be first looks and whatnot, Moving and... Out. I gotta say, this is... Uh, again, it's only been a few days. I think I sent most of them out on Thursday, maybe one or two on Friday. And here it is, Tuesday already, and I haven't heard anything back, which is usually pretty rare. Normally I hear back relatively quickly, Running. oftentimes within the first day. Sometimes it takes two to three, but very rarely do I hear back after three days. It has happened, and more than once, but it's still a very, very rare thing. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I must be losing my touch Estamos or something. Vendo. But I still have some new things to show you guys. There's uh, some stuff Splooch and I are going to do. Reign of Kings has been kind of fun lately, so um, I just did a big patch update, and I am not entirely certain I told you guys this. I'm pretty sure I did. But I spent some time playing around in that. I think I did. I told you how the server reset and everything. Well, the game seems to run now for Splooch, so there's a pretty good chance I'll do some more episodes of Reign of Kings with, uh, with Splooch this time, as opposed to just by myself. I already have a pretty good uh, groundwork set. Oh, okay. Hmm. Pretty good uh, groundwork set for um, our base of operations, so that's a pretty good thing as well. I don't really want to move Boo 3 yet. On the move. I feel like that's probably not the best move I can make, so. I'm going to try not to move Boo 3 yet, and we're going to see if we can blow up that wall. I'm doubting it. That is my guesstimation. Oh, we blew up some cover. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hindsight being what it is, we won't know until after our turn ends. Also, I'm not sure why or how we don't have line of sight, but I'm on it, what I am sure of is I want to move here, and if this gives me line of sight, I'm going to be super happy. So we'll see. And it doesn't seem to, but that's okay. We can always fall back and make them come to us, which is uh, always a nice little uh, futuristic feature of feature tune and stuff. So I already have a base of operations that's actually quite large. I have a crest that covers a much larger area than the small one I had in my first series. Um, let's see what else is there. I was able to use a smoke grenade and still do something. That's weird. But fine, I guess. Um, I guess we'll go here with you. And we'll hunker our sails down. Gaff Furion. Don't get his Furion over here, or her Furion over here. That's fine. And just up down 66. Going to go out wide and hope that the high ground gives us a little bit more coverage than just this. Oh, here we go. Here comes the fun, ladies and gentlemen. That's who we were looking for all this time. I'm okay with this. This is still fine with me. Ooh, we're really getting shot a little bit. A little owned there. Okay, I'm fine with this. This is, this is not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing. Alright, we gotta make sure that we don't block our folks. We're gonna trigger the overwatch here. And we're gonna hope that it misses, and it does. We're gonna hope that it misses, but doesn't destroy my log that I was hiding behind with my other individual. Because that would make me pretty sad. Okay, it did look like it did, it did miss my log. It did miss log, log, the magical fruit, the more you eat. No, that's, that's not it. All right, we did one damage, yeah. It's because we're super powerful. All right, well, you're not exactly the individual I was hoping to see. Oh, really? Really? That's the only shot we have, huh? Well, you can kiss my booty, because I am not giving you that one single... Wow, what is going on? I 
feel like every See move that? we make is just not working. Alright, well, uh, our sniper might be able to do something. Because it doesn't appear that anyone else can. Alright. Let's see what you got. Pretty good, pretty good. Can you land another amazing crit like that, sir? Awesome sauce. Are you a man or are you a goat? I think you're a goat, but we'll see. Technically you're a woman, but, you know. Eh, it is what it is. Alright, Congo de Muerto. We will scoot up slowly. We will overwatch with, with you. Um, I'm okay with moving there, with Guy Furion, getting a little bit closer. The Crane Maker, huh? Hmm. Solid copy. Yeah, it's not looking great. Um... I don't really have the best of positions for any of this stuff, to be 100% honest. Well, that is not where I clicked. What? Really? Wow. Okay, I don't... I don't know. Sure. Well, if he decides to move the big guy first, which I'm doubting... He should get wrecked. Now ah, they're all going to actually repair him up. That's mildly impressive. I don't think he's going to be fully repaired after everybody makes their move, but it's going to be close. And again, this high ground, low ground stuff, I'm not entirely so Okay, he is going to be fully repaired because there was an extra one hidden there. So there was, what, eight guys with that group? Five or six repair bots, and then the big guy, and then the squid. Hmm. Uh oh. What kind of weird targeting thing are you gonna do? Well, we already got the belt out of that. It would be preferable if we attempted to so retrieve really those matter. canisters rather than destroying them. Oh, that worked out pretty good. And what are you going to really? Our medic is gonna get a shot. Or no, battle unit three is gonna get a shot. Our medic might as well though. Damn it! Enemy is still alive. You're what? Why are you running in this pattern? I don't. I mean, sure, fine, go for it, but really? It seems pretty sketch. Please tell me we have... Oh, we so do. That is good. Alright. So that is actually exceptionally, amazingly, awesomely good. Alright. Well, we have a lot of stuff over there. What happened to the squid? He's still there. He's in Overwatch. Alright. Um. Guy Furion is like on top of this dude. 100% chance to hit and to crit, and I think that's going to be enough to kill him outright. Nope, no it's not. Well, that happened. 20% chance at that distance, not great. And a 20% chance still, well, we'll take it. I mean, our, our medics are notoriously good at uh, landing shots that they should have no business hitting. So, I mean, it is a possibility thing I don't particularly like is follow up to this whatever it shouldn't destroy our cover even if it does we're behind something else so go from full cover to half very good well done boo three well done that's what I'm talking about Alright, I think I would like to shoot the squid, if at all possible. And we're going for it. And we didn't kill it because of reasons that I don't understand, but that's okay. Alright, Le Willy, what kind of shot do you have at the giant robot? 73% chance, not too, too bad. And we're going to miss, of course, because of Bravo and his awesomeness. So good. So incredibly good. 
Oh, we have a sh okay. Wow, really guys? Come on. Like, this isn't some sort of sick joke, really? You're gonna miss, what, a 78 is it? And then an 82 to follow it up, really? That's the play you're gonna make? Because I'm calling bull nanigans on that. There we go. Alright, the bull nanigans is over. That guy is now officially dead, and oh my gosh, the squid is actually ridiculously well off. Well, we're gonna try the 65. Not gonna hit, we already know this. It's a given from what else has happened target. already at this point. Uh, I think moving there would be a mistake. I'm moving pretty much anywhere at this point is kind of a mistake. Um, let's look over here with Grape Hate. We'll trigger some Overwatch, which shouldn't hit, but you never know. I think that's only the first of two that I'm triggering. Nope. That's actually the only one I'm triggering. Wow, 65% with you. Let's see if you can land it. You can! Great pay doing work! Alright, so there we go. We're looking better. There's four or five of these little swine floating around. We're gonna have to murder them. X-rays coming in from the sides. X-rays coming in from the sides. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, yesterday's headache was awful, guys. It, 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 it didn't rain. Okay, let me rephrase that. It wasn't, a, it might have been a migraine, but if it was, it was a very mild migraine. But it wasn't as bad, like, I've had headaches that were like a 10, which is just like devastating, in tears headaches. I know, I'm a big wuss, whatever. That bad of headaches, right? This was ranging somewhere between a 3 and a 7, ah, 4 and a 7. It kept fluctuating back and forth, so it was never a full-on 10 or full-on 7. But it went pretty close, so yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great. I did not really enjoy it super super large amount but I did manage to survive it which is great of course obviously you do want to survive things dying from a headache probably not the most manly thing you can do all right removing his cover pretty manly though had it worked even better sadly it did not Solid copy. all right we're gonna give it another shot here with boo three boo three is like I'm ready I'm ready I got the super grenade coming at you! But the headache finally faded actually sometime this morning, which was not great. When I went to bed last night, it was pretty brutal again, but eh. Eh, 68%, might as well take the shot. If we hit, fantastic. If we don't, bonus. We didn't just hit, we completely wrecked him. Alright, well. Let's try to finish him. It looks like we're going to. Sir Awesome Sauce, the big plays. Nice to see for a change. Nice to see for a change. Alright, we'll scoot up a little bit more. We will reload. Sneaky Sneakers Sneakerson. Start taking some shots. Missed another 80 something percent chance. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. Let's see if we can miss the 68. Oh, see, we hit the 68, but we missed the 82. Whatever. It's fine. Totally fine. Oh, we're gonna land a 70 at least. Alright, and what are we gonna do with you? We're gonna move you up. Have you fire on a few fools, or a singular fool actually. Will you land the 80? Nope. Taken care of. Eh, it is what it is. You can't land every shot, right? But I feel like we've missed way more shots that are kinda high end than we should have in this particular one. Like I feel like we hit some of the lower end shots that we probably shouldn't have hit far more frequently than we've hit the high end shots that we should have hit. It's whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's one of those weird little things. It's the same with any, I guess, uh, game where RNG is, uh, or they're on the move. No, they're not. They're standing still shooting at us. What are you talking about? Any of the, uh, random RNG th Ooh, can we punch this guy? Ooh, I want to see how good of a punch we can get him. Boom! A good enough punch. Wow, that did 15 damage to an armored unit. And we can actually still attack after the fact. What? 99%? If you miss this, I'm going to be so mad. There it is. Alright, well, I think the play is going to be... to reload our sniper because I'm sad and he needed to be reloaded. Um, I suppose you can get right up on top and try to murder. Go for it. Should have gone there, though. Hindsight being what it is, ah, 100%, 100%, and that is the end. That took an exceptionally long amount of time for only 9 enemies, but hey, you know what, we did it. 
We managed it, we were victorious, and I got to babble about all sorts of stuff that none of it probably made any sense to anyone. It's fine. If all our missions go as well as this one did, Yay. the aliens don't stand a chance. Only maybe people shoot a little less terribly. Just saying. Just saying. So, sir, awesome sauce. Definitely starting to rack up some kills, because he was pretty far behind, and for a sniper, that's somewhat shameful. I think we'll take the time to take a look at what everybody's kill score is at this point, guys. Cyber disc rack and all the other stuff. Oh, looks like we can sell some things as well. We're going to go to the Situation Room, visit the Grey Market of Grey Marketude, and we shall selleth the extra goo that we don't need there. And, hey, the UK hates us slightly less. Now all we have to do is get like five of them to land in China, crush that, and then we'll be set. We don't have to worry much anymore. All right, so let's go take a look at our folks and see how they're doing. All right, Blood Mantis leading the way, of course, with 140. I was wondering if I could use the right arrow key. Guess not. All right. Liara Face Tank Jennings, 112. Very admirable. Brett Yeti Wood with 101. 52 on a medic. Not bad. Not bad. Lance Elliott doing work. Commander Jace, 88. And 28 missions under her belt. We have Logan Raven McVeigh with 61 on 28 missions. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Sir Awesome Sauce, also 28 missions, 49. Quite a bit worse, but getting there. The aim discrepancy is uh, pretty substantial, but it's fine. Captain Surprise Lake Kirk, 27 and 36. Not great, but again, we don't we don't really know. We don't really know. Uh, he's the only engineer to really make it anywhere, so. And I don't use him that often. When I do, he doesn't usually get the kills. He weakens them up, softens them up, so... It's not an accurate representation of how much work he actually does. 55 on 25 missions. A very nice. Arasan Miku Ghoul. We have Sani El Sanu, the Werewolf, 24 and 59. We have Americ Ekum. That name always throws me off, and I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Uh, he's only got 62 kills. Eh, that's not bad. I guess that's right on par with the other snipers. Uh, Mr. Updown, 66, 64 kills and 25 missions. Hungry Punker, 113 kills in 33 missions. I believe you are winning by one right now for the second most kills. Beating out Liara at 112. Johnny Casino Rico's catching up there with a 86, not too bad. 35 kills in 27 minutes, uh, sorry, 27 missions for Lady JC. Uh, 43 kills in 24 missions for Sneaky Sneakers Sneakerson. Eric Castro, 24 missions, 27 kills. Guy Furion, 24 and 24. John Crash Sierra, rocking 23, 58. Not bad. El Bandito the Viking, 22 missions, 47 kills. Very good. Lay Willie, Lady Grey, 21 missions, 44 kills. Doing work. Very nicely done. Gundy Chow used to be 1 for 1. Now it's 19 and 38, so it's 2 for 1. Very nice recovery. Very impressive. War Waging Wordy is 18 and 44. Very impressive as well. Uh, Grey Pate Crane Maker, 18 and 39. Not quite as impressive, but still not bad. Uh, Dale Lawson, uh, the Warlock, 22 missions, 40 kills. Not bad. Bright Pink is definitely the way to go. Battle Unit 3 is 17 and 18. Again, they are not represented exactly correctly when it comes to uh, what they do just based off of kills. Sam Steam 2000 is 15 missions and 24 kills. John Rocknar Smith is 15 missions, 17 kills. Gotta catch up, buddy. Gotta catch up. Ivy St. Nick, 15 missions, only 10 kills. Ooh, that's not even a one for one anymore. Even Pastel de Muerto Congo himself has 14 and 15. Jeez. Double Down Datrin Totatra is rocking 12 missions, 25 kills. The cue ball. John Mad Dog Smith is rocking 12 missions, 19 kills. Very impressive. Let's see, Connor Wosmeck is 12 missions, only 4 kills. Well, you are a medic. And one that we were trying to keep safe because our medics kept getting injured, so it makes sense. We have Loif Sulamunde. I don't really use these guys that often. So, having been on 9 missions and rocking a good old 11 kills isn't too bad, especially considering you don't get a lot of kills. You're usually the, like, first brunt damage user or attacker, and then everybody cleans up after what you do. So, pretty impressive. Dominic Godlewski, uh, Banzai, nine missions, only eight kills. Eh. Commander Doc Anthony, eight missions, 18 kills. Not too bad, not too bad. 
Michelle Vassar Strings. We're rocking six missions, eight kills. Very nice. Don't care. Ace DOTD, the Bishop, rocking nine missions, four kills. Naruto Luxray Zed, rocking seven missions and ten kills. DJ Christ, or Christoph DJ No Name, rocking seven missions and seven kills. James Hebert, Moose, as it were, seven missions, five kills. Another Rocketeer that we don't use very often. AKA Chuck Norris, it's fine. All right, Alejandra de Osos, an engineer we don't use very often either. Only six missions, but ten kills, which is pretty impressive. Eldoros Kalafalos, unfortunately... Well, your aim is actually not that bad, all things considered. Um, three missions, three kills. Not too bad, not too bad. Bone Dead Mozart, three missions, one kill. Medic with the white hair. The Jewish Hammer Alpha. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you've been on a single mission yet, buddy, and I do apologize for that, but your aim is not that super fantastic, and unfortunately... That means that you probably miss a lot. So, and we have so many snipers that it doesn't really make sense to go with some of the lower end ones at this point. All right, the ET Slayer freestyle, rocking zero and zero as well. Unfortunate, but it is simply what it is. Daryl Andrews, five missions, one kill. And Rol Hizan, two missions and three kills. Unfortunately, I believe all of your missions, buddy or before you were actually named, so I apologize for that as well. You are our final backup assault, though. Keep that in mind. And our only specialist. We'll skip over all the no-name people. Alright, let's take a look. Atomic Potato, th the first. Three missions, four kills. Nico Stamore, the third. Two missions, three kills. And here we go, into Damned Murphy's Law, Stalker. 39 missions, 77 kills. 27 missions, 73 kills for Sir Gens Mehor. Tack, the Dragon Rider, Blitz. Rocking 23 missions, only 77 kills. Wow. Not as good as I thought. I thought he, well, I guess he does get completely crushed every single mission he goes on or she goes on. Alright, uh, 38 and 73 for good old Lady Hanario. And Commissar will only be wounded for a few days, which is just as long as he would have been fatigued, so it's fine, or she would have been fatigued. 19 missions, 43 kills, not too shabby. And then all the way back up to Blood Mantis. So, as you guys saw, this is our third place, and our second place goes to HP, Hungry Punker, with 113. There it is. Alright, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I, I know, I artificially inflated it. Nah, I figured people were interested to see who was doing what and where. So, there you have it, guys. I am not going to do an episode tomorrow because we went to 33 minutes. No, I'm kidding. There will be an episode tomorrow, guys, and that is when I will see you next for more XCOM. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Bye.